Hey guys, Danica Ferranti here from MyBeautyScraps.com. This is the last video for my October 2016 cookie cutter Christmas card class. So we're making the fourth card in the class today, which is this cute little Santa card. Um, if you're interested in learning more about how to sign up for this month's card class, I'll leave a link in the description box below to the blog post that you can find out all about that. You have until October 26th, but when you sign up for class, you're going to get all of the pre-cut papers and embellishments you need to create the four cards. Um, you're also going to get the photopolymer stamp set right here and the coordinating punch right here. I just love it when a stamp set has a coordinating punch. Um, the only things you're going to need to have at home are adhesives and inks. So for this card, we're using Stampin' Dimensionals and my Snail Tape Runner. So those are the adhesives we need for this card. And for stamping, we're just using the basic black ink pad for this card, but I am also going to be using the Garden Green to do that coloring on the background with a sponge dauber. So if you have those materials, you can use those, um, but once we get to that part, I'll tell you about some alternate <laughs> ways you can work around that if you don't have the Garden Green um, and sponge daubers. But let's get started. So I'll get the stamp set out of the way. So all of your pre-cut materials will come in a little bag like this for each card. You even get um, a coordinating envelope included. So this card, you get a Whisper White envelope. Then we have our real red card base. The This um, paper is cut from the Irresistibly Floral Designer Series paper. I love this set. It has some great floral prints as well as some um, kind of everyday prints like this, like these little circles, or there's a striped one too that would be great to use on your Christmas cards also. A garden green layering piece, some real red baker's twine, um, which is from the Candy Cane Lane baker's twine duo. This little piece is pre-cut from Crumb Cake. And then this is the piece that we're going to use to stamp our Santa. So I already have my Santa mounted onto my clear block. I'm just going to open up my basic black ink pad and stamp him right on there. Now you have uh, plenty of room on this piece here if you do make a mistake to stamp it again or if you don't make a mistake <laughs> you'll have an extra to use on another project. And I just love how you can see right through the punch to line him up and cut him out perfectly. So the other stamping that we're going to be doing is the sentiment. One of the sentiments you get in the stamp set is warm heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. I like that sentiment a lot and it fits perfectly on this die cut banner. Um, this banner is die cut using the large number uh, framelit dies. I use this banner all the time. So not only do you get a great set <laughs> of numbers, which I use all the time in my project life, but you get um, this great banner, which lots of sentiments fit on. And um, you also get a little flag that's really cute too. And on my coordinating blog post, there'll be all that information if you want to get that as an add-on to your kit this month too. So we're all done with the basic black ink pad. The other item that's available as an add-on is this two pack of markers. So it's Crumb Cake and Real Red. And those are the two that I'm going to use to color in the Santa. 
You can, if you don't have these markers and you don't want to get it as an add-on, um, you can also use colored pencils or um, really any markers that you have. I just love that all of Stampin' Up's products coordinate um, so all the colors match perfectly. I'm a little... I'm a little fussy like that. <laughs> I love when all of the colors match perfectly. You don't have different shades of red. But there are, um, of course, lots of substitutions you can make because you don't have to buy everything right away and you can still make a super cute card. So I just used the crumb cake for his mittens and his shoes and his belt. And then I'm gonna use the real red for his hat and his pants and his coat. I really love that these markers are available as a two pack so you don't have to buy the whole set of um, neutrals and the whole set of brights to get these two colors. And it's a great way to try out the stamp and write markers too. All right, so our coloring of our Santa is all done. Now comes my favorite part, and that's using um, the Irresistibly Floral Designer Series paper. This paper is just like magic. I always love coloring on it, um, just because you feel like you're doing a magic trick. All of a sudden, the, the pattern just pops out. Um, the way I like to use it most is with an ink pad and a sponge dauber, but there's so many different things you could do with this paper. You can use watercolors on this paper, um, or you can also use, if you have any um, of those like ink sprays, you can use those. But when I'm using my sponge dauber, I like to start in the center because that's where we're going to place the Santa. So you're not going to see this center part. So if you start in the center, you can kind of blend out. And then those harsh lines in the middle are going to get covered up by the Santa. So every time I press the sponge dauber down to the paper, I blend out. And any of those harsh lines that I'm making in the middle are going to be hidden by Santa. <laughs> and you're just going to see that pretty blended color. And you can do whatever you want here. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because I like how it kind of just seems like it's disappearing towards the, toward the edge of the paper. But you can go all the way to the edge. You can do less. You can do more. really however you like it. You can go darker or lighter. You can even take our Stampin' Write markers right to the paper. If you want a lot of concentrated color, you can color it that way. The possibilities are really endless with this paper. I just love this paper. So after you get that piece colored the way you like it, we can start building our card. So I'm just going to use my snail tape runner on the back of that and adhere it to the garden green piece here. And you'll have an even border on all four sides. And then before we adhere this to the card base, I'm going to wrap um, the baker's twine around it. So when I do this, I just put a little bit of my snail behind it at first so I can stick one end in there. And then I just start wrapping. So you can do this in straight lines. You can put your straight lines 
close together if you want. Um, but what I liked, which you can see on my example card here, is just kind of doing a, a random crisscross. And then just stick that down into your adhesive on the back and you can move them around until they're how you like it. And then we'll put in a little extra snail on the back. You can also adhere these ends down with um, scotch tape if you'd like to. It's all going to be hidden behind the card. Or I guess inside the card. <laughs> and then I put this down on the card base, leaving an even border on the sides and the top. And then we'll put Santa on top there with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I rarely make a card without using these little foam dots. I just love our Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're also going to use Dimensionals on the back of the Sentiment Banner. They really not only give a nice pop, but they give a nice strong hold too. The adhesive is pretty strong on these little guys. And then I just center that up on the bottom. So a really quick, easy, and cute Christmas card. I hope you consider joining my card class this month. If you have any questions, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can contact me as well. These cards would also be really great to mass produce. Um, I know I send out a lot of Christmas cards. If uh, you guys do too, um, feel free to contact me and I will help you figure out what you need to order to make lots of these cards to send to your friends and family. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video today and I hope you enjoyed this card and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!